This is Reviewer03, bringing you our view of Chaos Head, also known as the anime which left a chaos in my head. Seriously, I don't even know what this shit was about anymore. I was too busy vomiting. Oh my god, what is she doing with that spoon? And why is that guy missing parts of his skull? Oh my god! Could you please stop? Oh my god, why am I even doing this review? Oh, I know, because my subscribers kept requesting it. Damn you, you're just like my kids, always demanding but never giving back. No wonder I turned into a sick psychopath. I even gave them some rat poison, but it didn't work. In the end, it turned out that I didn't have any kids. They were just those damn penguins in disguise trying to murder me. My doctor said that I was crazy and a menace to society and that I belonged into a mental hospital. He died from rat poison. Um, I mean in an accident including rat poison. Yeah. Accident. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure he was just another penguin in disguise, so it's okay. Okay, so Chaos Head is set in present-day Japan, and the story revolves around a guy named Takumi Nichijou who lives in a container on the roof of an apartment building. Wait, what? And one day the unsuspecting Takumi gets a mysterious email which contains images of a brutal murder scene. It turns out that the email was apparently from the future, since a few days later the murder happens in the exact same way as depicted in the email. But this is just the beginning. In the course of the anime, Takumi meets a bunch of girls with badass swords, and a corpse in a wheelchair, and together they have to stop the evil organization Nozomi, which wants to conquer the world through fat people carrying backpacks. Okay, so this anime is quite similar to Serial Experiments Lane, but it is far weirder and far more disturbing. Another difference is that it's much darker, more suspenseful, and that it has a lot more action in it. What made this anime enjoyable was undoubtedly its suspense and its darkness. The mix of delusion, paranoia, mystery and weird shit and the depiction of these aspects were done in a brilliant way. Another positive aspect were the action scenes and the soundtrack, which delivered very creepy, suspenseful and devastating music perfectly fitting the atmosphere. Just imagine you're going down a dark and lonely alley in the middle of the night and suddenly some guy starts following you. And now imagine that guy would play this music so loud that you could hear it while stalking you. I spent the next two days in prison. But it was worth it. As for the animation, it was not the best, but not the worst either. I would say it was pretty decent for its time. Now, the only negative aspect of this anime was the fact that it was fucking confusing, because it simply doesn't make much sense. On top of that, many things remain unexplained. So I'm giving this anime a very good 4.5 out of 5 points. The reason for this decision, besides the confusion factor, is this guy. He's such a whiny bitch that he makes Shinji Ikari look like the Shinjinator and that really hampers your enjoyment of the anime from time to time. 